Wow, happy Thursday, y'all. Honey, mm, 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 chow. I'm still snowed in, y'all, okay? That's just bottom line. So, here we go. Ragamuffin style, okay? Now, um, yeah, I got on pajamas, okay? So, for those of you who haven't seen this before, I've worn it before. But these is my pajamas, okay? Bottom line, mom ain't going nowhere, okay? I ain't got nowhere to go. Um, I'm snowed in. I, for those of you who just tuned in, I've been snowed in since, yeah, Monday night. Um, so I've been coming at y'all with my pajamas on and my head scarves, okay? Now, I tried to match it up a little bit because, like I said, you, you know, ragamuffin style, not just ragamuffin, not just looking like Raggedy Ann, okay? Yeah, if you don't know, you better go ask somebody, okay? Matter of fact, go ask Kiana, because she said y'all need to stop wearing them rags to bed. <laughs> Bam, honey, she said, y'all need to stop it. Child, I've been telling them, but she said it. So go over on her channel, Kiana, um, leading woman in training. That's her name. Uh, she used to be big cuz uh, 52. Chow. And she from where I'm from. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. And that's where she's from. But she's good. I like her. But honey, she told y'all, y'all better stop wearing the rags to bed. Mm, mm, mm. So, this is ragamuffin style. Okay? So, yeah, I got on a yellow headband. Um, I threw this little big her. Okay? Honey, I had this her on when I was on that party bus. And chow, that thing was a mess. So I had to try to spray it down a little bit with some um, conditioner and water. And, yeah, I was trying to do something. But um, that's okay. Raggedy, but not raggedy. Okay, let's just say that. So, yeah. So I just threw on this little scarf around it. Um, put some yellow earrings on a necklace. I put on some lipstick, lip gloss, whatever you want to call it. You know what? Anywho, from the Dollar Tree, I put this on and I topped it with this this time. Okay. Yesterday, I had this color on. Okay. Isn't that pretty, y'all? I had this color on and I topped it with this. But tonight, I have this color on and I topped it with this because I figured a little pink to match my, that, that's in my, my pajama shirt. Um, and um, so I mainly got on yellow bracelets. And I just added a little pinky in there. See? A little pink. That cute look like little rabbit ears. Yeah. And then um, a yellow ring. And that's it. Bam. Okay. Pajama pants. Look like this. Got this design in it. Yeah. And I got on a, bra, a pink bra. Just, you know, wanted to match it up a little bit. But yeah. Yeah. This, what I, this is a cute little pajama set. So... You can wear pajama pants and stuff, but, you know, just make sure they're not raggedy. Like she said, don't wear no rags, okay? So, yeah, let me show y'all real quick. Wait a minute, I got to turn this light out. All right, so, my kids, hopefully y'all can see, okay? Oh, well, let's see. Turn it around a little bit. This is what I got on. A pajama shirt, can y'all see that? Got this design. The pants got the same design, okay? Bam. Hey, hey, ragamuffin style, okay, yeah, that's what we call this, okay, so, yeah, all right, that's it, hopefully y'all saw that, um, so anywho, um, I wanted to just show you, child, let me tell you, I got another thing, a pickle pig feet, y'all, okay, bam, but they jipped me, y'all, the last time I had got this, I had three, pickled pig feet in my jar okay it was two big ones and a baby one so i ate one and i said oh i got two left i went to go in here and it's a one great big it's one big one left okay and i love this and i love the pickle juice and all that i'm the only one in the house i'm excuse me i'm the only one in the house that eats it so i drinks the juice right out the jar mm-hmm Chow. So I'll eat the pig feet later. It's in there. Oh, it burned your chest. Mm. Alright, so I just wanted to show y'all something real quick. You know how you buy um bagels from the market? 
and, and it'd be in a bag similar to this. Okay, so you figure, okay, you leave them out or you stick them in the refrigerator, but you might, it, it might come with like, I guess it'll come with like six or eight um, bagels in it. Well, I'm not going to eat six of big, um, six to eight bagels in time enough before they start going bad. So what I do is I take them out the original pack that looks similar to this. Just a little quick little tip idea y'all might want to take. And what I do is I take a freezer bag. I take each individual bagel and I put it in a sandwich bag and I put a little tie on it. Or you can get the sandwich bags with the Ziploc on it. And I put each individual one in a sandwich bag. And then I just take them and put them all in a freezer bag. And then when I want one, I just take it out and let it unthaw a little bit and then put it in a toaster oven. But this way, they stay fresh. Like, I'm not forced to eat them quickly because, you know, they're going to go bad if you don't eat them fast enough. And nobody really eats them a lot around here, so... That's how I preserve them so that I can have them for a while. Yeah, so there you have it, okay? Just a little quick idea, and I do the same thing. Now, these are English muffins, and these come in a bag. This is the example I was showing you for the bagels. What I do with these, instead of just sticking this whole thing in the freezer, I take my English muffins out of the actual bag, and I individually put them in a sandwich bag with a little tie on it, okay? And I put them all in these little bags, okay? And then I just put them all back in. And then that way when I want an English muffin, because again, I'm not going to eat all these up in time enough before they go bad. And nobody really eats them too much. And I just put them all back in. And voila. Back in the freezer. And when I want one, I just take one individual one out, let it unthaw, and there you have it. Okay, so, get those back in the freezer so they don't unthaw. All right, so, let me see if I messed up my little lip gloss from drinking pickle juice on set. Put a little gloss on top of it. Yeah, so, okay, y'all, that's that's what we, we got big, messy hair. Let's just call it big, messy hair. Um, I love big hair, y'all. A lot of my hair pieces aren't big hair. This is, like, the biggest hair that I have, but I love them, and I think I'm going to start doing big hair I don't know but um all right y'all so I just wanted to come on here and show y'all what ragamuffin style looks like today okay while I'm snowed in with seven feet plus uh out there oh Deshaun put these in the freezer for me put these back in the freezer for me the, the um the deep freezer over here put them on the door part of it um, yeah, y'all, so that's that's what we doing. Okay, just just a little, just threw it on. I put the conditioning water just to kind of, because it was dry, honey. It was a mess, because I party on that party bus. So, um, I just wanted to come on here and just show y'all ragamuffin style. I wanted to show y'all how you can preserve your bagels if you're not going to eat them all up very quickly and how to preserve your English muffins. Okay, let's just call that an, an idea of how... Um, just a little idea to help you out, okay? Because I love ideas. I love when people bring stuff, um, ideas and stuff on YouTube and share them. I learn a lot from people doing that, so I appreciate it. Um, Shell, let me just tell y'all this real quick. I had got a message yesterday. Um, somebody had commented, had left me a comment, or they sent me an email. And they were saying that... Um, you know, hey, I'm um, right now. Um, I'm going to link your video to my video. You are a star girl and blah, 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 blah. So I was like, well, who, who, who is this? Honey, star, correct, okay? But um, I ain't know who, I ain't know who, who that was. And I clicked on the video and the lady was talking and, and she, um, she was fixing her breakfast, and she had, you know, her she had a flat screen up on her wall. Her, her flat screen TV was on her wall. And um, she was fixing breakfast, and she started talking about, um, you know, some people that's on YouTube that she loved watching. And she said, oh, and you can hear in the background. And, child, once again, I could hear my video playing in the background. Like, I could hear myself. I was like, wow. And, um... She turned her, her camera to the, the, the flat screen TV on the wall, and there mama was, honey, 
ragamuffin style, okay? I had a silver um, head wrap on that day, and um, I, what I have on a gown or something, I don't know, honey, but um, I thought that was just wonderful, y'all, that somebody idolizes me that much or looks up to me or likes me that much like she had me showing on her flat screen TV along with some other um, YouTubers that she liked. But I just thought, wow, I, I was amazed. Because I remember the one time when the girl had commented and she told me that she listens to my videos every morning on her surround sound. I was like, I haven't even made it yet. Well, mm, mm, mm. So I just want to say thank you. Her name was Shaya Kerr, if I'm not mistaken. Deshaun, bring me my blue phone out of there. I want to get it right. I think it's Shaya Kerr. S-H-A-Y-A-K-E-R-R, -R, I think. I'm not sure. But um, my phone, that was just sweet, uh, miss. I, I, don't, I don't have a clue who you are, um, but it's just amazing how people know you, but you don't know them. And um, thank you. I just thought, wow, that was just like the sweetest thing ever. Oh, I got wifey cakes on here right now. That's my girl, y'all. If y'all don't know wifey cakes, this is her. I love her, y'all. Like, this girl. But I'm going to tell you, her intro, when you first, turn, you know, click on her video, she has an intro. And it has music. And she's showing different pictures of her husband, her, when they got married, their little baby girl named Leah. Lena, I'm sorry. And um, it's, it's, it's heart touching because it reminds me of when I was with my late husband and when we started, you know, having our babies. And um, Lena reminds me of my daughter when she was born, when my late husband was alive. And it brings like tears, you know, it's like a tear jerking intro for me because it just reminds me. Yeah, I, I have, I, I still, um, I have moments you know, and things that will remind me, you know, of my late husband. Um, for those of you who don't know, I lost my late husband um, in a car accident. And um, I still have my moments. And every time I watch her videos and that intro comes on, it, it touches my heart. It breaks me down a little bit. But I love her. I love the intro. But it just, it's a tearjerker for me. So. <sighs> well, anywho, um, let's get to... Shea Kerr, and I hope I'm saying it right and spelling it right, because you know how you be trying to find stuff, and um, you can't find it when you're looking for it, but um, I don't know, it, it was it was just wow. All right, let me see if I can find it. And of course I can't. Uh, Y'all, I'm sorry. I, I get so many messages and comments and emails and stuff. It, it's, it's just like a needle in a haystack trying to find stuff. I'm sorry. Hopefully I said your name right, ma'am. I, 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 I'm just like, I'm thankful. <laughs> like, I was shocked, but I was very, um, I felt honored. And so um, hopefully I'm saying your name right. If not, when I get off, I'm going to go and check and get it correct and come back on. And do another video specifically letting people know. But I think I'm I think if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, Shaya Kerr. S H A Y A K E R R. I will come back and correct it if I find out that that's not right. But thank you, Mom. I appreciate that. But um, and I just want to say thank everybody that's been sending me comments. Like I have not been responding to comments like I want to. I may here and there respond to a comment. But to totally respond to every single comment, I have not been doing that. I apologize, y'all. Once you get behind on that kind of stuff, it's just like a lost cause, really. You just, it's overwhelming. So you can't, if you get behind on comments, as far as replying to people's comments, you're ASAP. <laughs> okay, let me just go ahead and say that. Okay, it, it's, it's a lot. Um... But I just want to openly and publicly just thank everybody out there who has been commenting on my videos. And if I have not gotten back to you, I apologize. 
But I do see y'all comments. I appreciate them. Y'all make me laugh. Y'all talk touch my heart with things you say. And um, I just want to say thank y'all. Period. Okay. I'm at over 80,000 views, y'all. And I am just so grateful. Okay. Because the last time I checked a couple months ago, I was at 50,000. And I had me a little, you know, 50,000 um, milestone celebration. And I said I was going to do another one when I get to 100,000. But I'm at 80,000, y'all. And I'm like, <laughs> wow. Thank y'all. But I just do me. Okay. This is channel 100 aka 100. Okay. So if you like 100ness, okay. Keep tuning in. Okay. And you're going to get all that. Okay. And more. So I just wanted to come on here, y'all. Because I'm snowed in. I'm bored. Let me tell y'all something here. Okay. If you, I'm telling you, being snowed in. Okay is a test of time. Let me just say that, okay? If your relationship... Now, being snowed in with your significant other can go either one or two ways, okay? Now, if your relationship is good when you go into the snowstorm and you get snowed in, then, you know, if it's good already, it might get tested because, you know, being in the house just 24-7, you know, things might get tested a little bit. Or... It could continue to be good and just grow, okay? Now, if you're in a relationship that's um, over but just haven't ended yet, a snowstorm and being snowed in could possibly bring the spark back, okay? I mean, I know personally of a, of a couple that um, I know was on edge, and this snowstorm has brought them, like, so much closer, Okay, so I said, you know what, that's amazing because, like I said, the snowstorm and being snowed in with your significant other could either bring you closer together. If you're close, it could bring you closer. If you're close, that might test it a little bit and like, God damn, nigga. <laughs> or he might say, God damn. Ugh. Yeah, but um, it could do either or, okay? But, um, and I just think that I just, I was really excited to hear that that couple was really actually just bonding and getting back that spark that they had you know in the beginning so just a wonderful little um significant other story okay um my husband and i we have not gotten irritated with each other yet um i'm glad like i haven't gotten irritated with him like he ain't getting on my nerves i'm not getting on his goddamn nerves my kids are good. Like, they not working that last nerve. I'm not like, oh, my gosh, I can't wait for school to open. I'm not there. And so it's just a blessing because that's a bit. I'm telling you, you don't want to start arguing and fussing and getting irritated with folk when you stuck in the house with them for four days. Um, well, let's see. Tuesday, Wednesday, th well, Monday night, Tuesday, Wednesday, today, Thursday, tomorrow, Friday. Ain't shit happening tomorrow because that shit is still going on. We still got a lake effect going on. Um, I was watching BBW um, Sweet and Sexy's video. She lives out here in New York. She lives in a different part of New York. I'm in Buffalo. She's in, it's something starting with a C. Colvin or Colder, something. I, I don't I don't remember. She, she said it. And, um... <sighs> I was amazed. Like, she showed a picture of a crawl space. That's how much space she has to get out of her house if she needs to get out. I mean, like, literally. The snow has covered. Like, this is, I mean, it was a crawl. That was, like, the perfect word for a crawl space. That's all she had was a crawl space to get out of her house if she needs to. I was amazed. And I told her, I commented, I said, if I wasn't out here to witness this myself, I would not believe it. I was shocked just looking at that. Now, we've been going through this since Monday night. But I was actually shocked to see a picture where it was just like a crawl space um, to get out of her house. And I'm like, they getting pounded just like we are over here. Um, so, yeah, go on over there and watch her, that crawl space, honey. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Like, looking at it. Like, I was amazed that I'm actually living this right now. You all who are not here... You will be definitely amazed. It's something to see. I'm telling you, this snow is something. So I just pray that everybody got enough food. 
enough toilet paper and enough patience, okay? Oh, okay, because you're going to need all that up in this, okay? So, um, I said I was going to come on. I had did a few videos earlier where I didn't actually show my face because I had just got up out the bed when I came on here and did that video. I had got up out the bed. Breakfast was going. I ate breakfast. I was full as a tick. And um, I said, well, let me turn this camera on. Let these people see what's going on because I wasn't ready. I, w I wasn't ragamuffin style, okay? Yeah, I got up out of bed ragamuffin looking, but I wasn't going to come on camera like that, and I wasn't going to sit around the house all day like that. So, yeah. I don't have to walk around. Just a little quick tip. You don't have to walk around like in lingerie and everything don't have to be, you know, lace and silky and shiny and just, you know, flawless. You don't have to walk around like that because that ain't even real life. I'm sorry. I, I ain't, I ain't going to be able to do all that. Okay. But um, just make sure your gowns ain't toe up. Okay. It might, if it got a little tear or a little, you know, that's fine. Because I had a gown that had a little tear on it. But that bad boy was sexy as a, as a motherfucker, okay? That, that man didn't even know I had that little tear there unless I told him, okay? But you just don't want to be totally tore down, okay? You, you don't want to be um, with the, the big old... Um, dingy looking t-shirts and the, and the pajama pants and the, and the bonnet and you just don't want to do that okay I mean granted you do what the fuck you want to do that's just bottom line okay I mean I'm just saying shit I don't give a fuck to be honest I'm just trying to help you out shit hmm. anywho so I guess y'all probably say, damn, what what the fuck happened? Who, who the fuck is she talking to? What, I'm talking to whatever motherfucker got a problem with me saying, yeah, don't walk around with that dingy ass t-shirt on and them stank ass looking pajamas and that bonnet. I mean, you ain't got to listen to my ass. I'm just trying to help another sister out. But I'm telling you now, honey. You keep walking around looking like that, and you better go back into the archives and watch my videos where I talked about that lonely woman sitting out there with that match, okay? If you don't know what I'm talking about, keep on doing what you're doing, boo. <laughs> hey, child, please. Mm, mm, mm. So, anywho, so you might say, well, you got on stink-looking pajamas, bitch. I don't... Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. What I am trying to say is that, um, yeah, I might have a little camel toe showing. But I don't like camel toe showing, y'all. I don't mean no harm. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what camel toe is. Child, that's a whole nother video. But I like camel toe, honey, and so does my husband, honey. Child, please. I just love camel toe. Like, Y'all probably say, what the fuck is a damn camel toe? Because I said it too. Um, but I learned, honey. I, I learned from some haters what the fuck camel toe was. I ain't know what the fuck they was talking about. But I found out, and I'm like, oh, shit, hell yeah, that's me, camel toe. <laughs> Do the shimmy. <laughs> camel toe. <laughs> honey, if you don't know, you better ask somebody, okay? That's all I'm going to say, because I can't get down with the get down right now. We're going to do a camel show, um, a camel toe show. I'll just say that. So, um, all right, y'all. So, um, I'm going to get ready to go. I'm going to go in here with my husband. He laid back on the chase chair watching movies. Um, yeah, we still at it. Snow. I'm, 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 I don't mean no harm. I'm sick of the snow videos myself. So I'm not going to no goddamn window and I'm not going to no motherfucking door to show shit. Okay, go back into the archives, okay, a.k.a. some previous videos that I did. And y'all will see all the snow you need for the next few years. I am, I'm not, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm tired of snow videos. Shit. So, um, yeah. All right, y'all, so let me go. I, I got to get my pickle pig feet out of here. Yeah, so, um, bam. <laughs> hey, bam. <laughs> bam. Bye, y'all. I'm bored, y'all. Can y'all tell? <sighs> Mama bored, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. 
But anywho, I'm going to check out with that lady's name, making sure that I have that lady's name correct. Um, while we on here, though, let's just see who's talking to mom. I got a few comments. I got a few new comments. Oh, Miss Uniquely Designed. She said, it looks so pretty out there. I just wouldn't want to be in it. I know that's right, boo. Thank you, Miss Uniquely Designed. That's my girl. That's the girl that, that taught mama how to tie her scarves. So when I've been, been doing ragamuffin styles all week, honey, I've been rocking my um my head scarf with the little, um what do you call it? She calls it, um you could either call it a head wrap or um I forgot the name that she calls it. But yeah, honey, did me a favor, honey, because I love it. Yeah, Miss Uniquely Designed. Thank you, boo. Um, let's see. It's three more. Let me just do these while I'm on here. No, it's two more. Um. Oh, hi, love, Lisa. She says, whoa, be warm. <laughs> Thank you, boo. We warm, honey, up in this piece. We really are. Truly, we are. And I heard that people was talking about, um, the snow was so heavy, it was caving in people's roofs and, and their um, awnings and, and their porch, uh, you know, roofs and stuff. Oh, chow. Because along with the snow is the cold. You're talking about 15, 11 degrees, feeling like five below zero. So you got all this pretty soft snow, but then it gets hard. It, I mean, like hard. So I can imagine it's caving in a lot of stuff, and, and, and the the after effects is going to be even worse, because you're talking about seven, eight feet of snow. That's seven, eight inches of, rain, of water, and we're talking about it on the news, water, okay? So now you're going to have issues with flooding, people's basements, and, and all that kind of stuff. All right, let's do this. Lovely Leia. Hi, girl. That's my girl, Lovely Leia, 810. Oh, she um, she said, where did you hear the song Try Me At? It's a UK song, and I didn't know many people was up on it like me. Oh, she liked that song I be singing. Let a nigga try me, try me. I'm going to get his whole motherfucking family. Because I ain't playing with nobody. I'm going to cook around and I'm going to catch a body. Girl, lovely Leia, girl, that's my song, okay? I heard that song here in Buffalo, New York, where I live now, okay? And I love it. Chill, let a nigga try me, honey. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, Boots, I heard it here in Buffalo, New York. That, I mean, that was, it came on the radio, and I was like, what? <laughs> love it. All right, y'all, so that was lovely Leia. Um... Let's see. Oh, and she also left another comment. She said, it makes me glad I moved to Florida, sis. Oh, our ass is snowed in like that. Was snowed in like that last January. It drove me insane. So we moved <laughs> from Michigan. <laughs> Girl, I can't even do it no more. And I think um, Nina is from Michigan. Nina Simone. I think she had left me a message saying that they were getting some kind of snow. So, yeah, girl, Florida, yeah, but let me tell y'all this little story real quick. Let me see where we at time-wise first. Let me just, let me just do that, okay. Oh, this is way too long. Mm -mm. Let me get off of here. I'll come back and do another video talking about that because Mim Pam, I do not want her saying, bitch, you, you talking too motherfucking long, bitch. Why you, ain't nobody watching a motherfucking long ass video. Yeah, yeah, like she goes there. I ain't trying to hit, okay? So let me get off of here <laughs> and come back. Let's regroup, okay? Yeah, and come back and do another video because I don't want her cussing me out. I mean, she one of the women that can cuss your motherfucking ass. I'll call you a bitch and you be like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I love men Pam, y'all. Check her out, because she funny as shit. So, um, all right, let me go. And I'll come back and do another video talking about, like, lovely Leia said that's why she left Michigan and she went to Florida and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I got some stuff to talk about concerning states and shit. Bye, y'all. Hit subscribe so you don't miss mama's videos, honey. You don't miss my uh, ragamuffin style, okay? I will teach you how to be ragamuffin. 
but with style, okay? All right. Goodbye.